बचा एफ गुजार वर्सेस कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स बॉम्बे इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस लॉ फॉर बोथ कंपनी इज अ सेपरेट लीगल एंटिटी एज वेल एज इनकम टैक्स एक्ट बिकॉज हियर द डिस्कशन इज अबाउट कैन एन एडवांटेजियस पोजिशन फॉर अ पर्सन ऑल्सो बी क्लेम बाई द कंपनी और नॉट कमिंग बैक टू द स्टोरी इट गोस दिस वे before starting the case law one additional information the lady in the below image is not mrs guzdar that is mrs jahanavi ganesh i mean that's my wife I had this photo in my album and when i first researched this case law that image came to my mind searched and pasted here i'm sure now you are coming out of sleep that's precisely how our mind works when we have to study it behaves lazy and we start feeling sleepy but we are very active to listen things like this right okay let's get back to the case under the income tax act where there are agricultural activities as well as manufacturing and sales of those agricultural goods there is an exemption from paying tax up to 60% of the income tax to be paid only for the remaining 40% considering that that as the manufacturing or sales income here in this case bf guzdar bought shares from a tea company and for the dividend she got from those shares she denied to pay the income tax up to 60% of those income mentioning that tea company has done agricultural activities and hence there is an exemption and i shall pay tax only for the remaining 40% considering it is from manufacturing and sales activities of the company her claim was the income in her hand should be treated as agricultural income up to 60% as in the case of a tea company on the ground that the dividend received by shareholders represented the income of the company or to simplify it is like she and company are one and the same as her money invested via shares was utilized to run the company however the honorable supreme court in this case said that and i quote though the income in the hands of the company was partly agricultural at the income when received by mrs guzdar as dividend could not be regarded as agricultural income because a company is a juristic entity distinct from the shareholders further supreme court also added that a company can own property and deal with it the way it pleases no member can either individually or jointly claim any ownership rights in the assets of the company during its existence or on its winding up hope you understand see it is another matter that the money liquidated can be used for settling the creditors etc but that doesn't give any ownership to any subscriber because company itself is a juristic or legal person and it can manage things by itself and it owns the things which belongs to it i hope that is very clear